Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is how to choose the proper graphics adapter when you have a device that has more than one. Today it's more and more popular that a computer has its uh, standard internal graphics adapter and as also a high performance graphics adapter. Um, in general what you want especially in laptops is to keep both running um, not disable one and just keep the other one for a very simple reason for power management because often the more basic adapter takes less power than using the um, the extended or the more powerful um, performance adapter. The other thing also is that in some instances some games but some apps can also have problems if you actually stick only one adapter and choose to disable the other one. So it all depends on the computer, it all depends on the apps you use. Um, and so of course there's different ways of setting. Some people do just you know disable the basic one and keep just a high performance. Uh, it's up to you, but it also is up to what you're using as apps. If you have problems, re-enable the standard adapters. In this video, I'm gonna actually show you if an adapter, uh, if a game or anything you're actually using is not properly choosing the correct adapter you can actually force it into that graphic mode in Windows 11 and this has to do with the fact that it depends you know most games actually the adapter finds that it's a game and will want you to choose the proper adapter automatically you'll do it to switch to the high performance gaming adapter but it can happen and it doesn't work or it can happen that an app is not in a category where the adapter thinks it should be using the high performance one. So what you could do is simply go into your settings in um, Windows 11. In your settings you will have display and when you go down display you'll have graphics. Here you will have the settings for apps default settings on apps that are not chosen or you can of course choose an app and choose which app you want to actually uh, choose or you can of course browse an app which means that you can browse and this is going to open this file where you're going to have to find the proper uh, game or the proper executable this is what I always find kind of a little dumb in Windows 11 and 10. There should be an app list of all the programs that you have installed. It shouldn't have you going through that area where you need to find a proper folder and the proper executable. But once you know how it works and where to go and get it, uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the games that install will of course uh, install themselves in folders that are program files or program file x86 so you can go here and go and choose whatever game whatever you've installed to have it use a specific um, you know um, graphics adapter for example here Stellarium which is a astronomy program I can go here and then you have to find the executable which is an exe when you click on it you can add now this is going to be added to a list. What you need to do then is go into options. Here you can let Windows decide power saving which uses the standard lower grade graphics adapter or high performance. You have it use the uh, high performance graphics adapter which will often make things faster. Then you save which means the next time that you actually choose to run that app it's going to run with the graphics adapter that you've chosen and it's going to force it if it doesn't do it right from right away if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching